Alright. I'm Jonathan DeLuna. I'm Chris DeLuna. And we're the DeLuna Bros. For Cigar Press Review. Oh! Nah, I'm just kidding. No worries, guys. I was just drinking a little bit, but now I think we're a little bit more mellow. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's time to get started on this uh, La Flor Dominicana Chapter 1. That's right. Floor Chapter 1. Of course, the specs on this baby are that it's a medium to full body. It's got Brazilian Maduro wrapper, Connecticut broadleaf binder, and then it also has Dominican premium fillers. Of course, those are those are the facts about the cigar. And right off the bat, when, when I was smelling, like I was telling Chris a little bit earlier, it's a very earthy aroma. It's kind of like a smell of the ground and leaves of right after it rains. It's the pretty much the equivalent if they could take the rain, put its essence in this, basically what you get. I just like the sleekness of it and like I said in my first video, I'm a very big fan of the chisel tip. It's uh, easier yep. smoke for me. I think overall the sleekness of this, it looks very classy with the black and gold with the dark wrapper going on with it and I just want to cut into it and get this more lit. So let's do it. Alright, both well, this time we actually came prepared. Both of us brought our own little trusty lighter. Ready to rock this shit? Here we go. Alright. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right, just as Chris is lighting it up, just wanted to point out really quick, you don't have to cut all the way to the bottom unless, again, you want. You just like the way it feels. I prefer just to nip it a little bit below the very tip, just to have some easy, you know, not too bad. Again, just a thought. In the end, it's pretty much, you know, whatever you want. That's just pretty much the way I prefer it. Well, right off the bat, as I'm roasting it, it smells extremely delicious. I'm definitely picking up on notes of earth, very earthy. Yes, it is a torch, just letting you know. Right off the bat, like I anticipated, extremely earthy. Not that much smoke output. The draw is not very loose. It's a little, you know, holding back a little bit. But the taste overall is extremely, extremely well balanced. Yes, it's, it's a very smooth cigar. I was discussing it with uh, our friends over at Reinventing the Real earlier. I had him smell this because he I told him that we were going to be smoking this today for y'all here on the Cigar Press Review. And right off the bat, he's not a big smoker, but when he smelled it, he wanted to have some of this. And he said, save it for me next time. So we may have a secondary review with this with the guys from Reinventing the Real, Jose and Victor. If you guys don't know them already, those guys are badass buddies of ours. They do extremely awesome movie reviews. So check them out whenever you get the chance, Reinventing the Real. They already have several videos up there. You might want to take a gander. We're definitely just in the first third of this stick. So right when we get through the first third and come up to the second, we'll of course catch up back with you. Definitely getting a little, uh, there's like an oil slick over the tongue. Pepper's very short lived though. It doesn't really doesn't really linger on. It's, it's just at the very beginning, right when you puff on it. What I like about the cigar is when you, when you first start into it, you're thinking it's a heavy cigar. It's a dark wrapper. It's, I would say a good, 560 gauge double press yeah. double press yeah and once you start off I mean it's it's beautiful it tastes great it's not too heavy there's not a big aftertaste it's very smooth and it's very enjoyable and right now since it rained earlier here in Edinburgh uh, there's been a big mosquito invasion hell yeah infestation um, but the smoke's helping actually keep them away so it's actually a good time to be smoking a cigar I'm just kidding guys, I'm just kidding. So as you can see on Chris's uh, Chris stick over here, he got himself a nice decent little ash forming at the end. That's, that's how you smoke a cigar right there. Hell yeah. I'm just a tad ahead of him and I'm so, I apologize guys, I try to keep the ash on. It's just the way it goes sometimes, but we're gonna go ahead and see how long this stays because to be honest, that's awesome. That's how you know it's good, that's right. That's a good telltale sign right there. Awesome. Oh! Got a bigger ash dong than you do, Johnny. 
right, we're back. As you can see, Chris's uh, cigar dong still pretty good, still holding strong. The cigar is getting just a little bit more spongy as we're getting closer to the last third of the cigar, but it hasn't cracked, it hasn't hasn't done anything out of the ordinary. Still, great smoke output, the draw is good. And the ash, as you can see, is about half the cigar already. As you can tell, it's, it's a very well-made cigar. It's held up this long without falling off. But yep. as much ash as there is, um, not tasting any ash. I'm just getting the flavor of the cigar. Yep, yep. I'm actually starting to taste a little bit of a hay aroma. Or a, I'm sorry, I hate taste. The pepper's gone now. I don't even taste that whatsoever. Still has that strong, earthy taste. But overall, very, very good. Just a quick close-up. So as you can see, performance of the cigar, I gotta say, it's awesome. It's, yeah, it's definitely superb. Definitely one you want to get. The strength really hasn't changed much. I still say it's about a medium. And I understand uh, people who just started smoking cigars, you know, this might be considered super, super strong to them. We've been already smoking some for a little while now and uh, definitely classify this one as a medium. We'll of course come back once we've hit the last third of the cigar, show you the progress. God willing, of course, the ash will stay on and if it does, son of a bitch. You definitely got a better one than I did. That's all I gotta say. We've already finished up with the second third of the cigar. We're headed into the uh, last third. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take off the label. Start of the last third here, the cigar again. Performance is awesome. Starting to pick up a little bit of strength. Cigar is pretty good. Still not very, very squishy. Still holding its ground. No cracks. Smoke output's amazing. Right, guys we're back we're about halfway through this the last third of the cigar getting a little ashy taste but not too bad uh, one thing i've been telling chris this whole night is that the uh, the oil that oiliness that's in the mouth on the palate i think it just kind of ramped up on my end i mean that's really what i've been tasting very good smoke output but uh overall it's pretty good i really really enjoyed it i i thought it would be bad towards the it's still holding up really really well yeah. um about at the same point right now it's getting so I think I'm gonna close it off. Uh, it is getting a bit spongy, but when it gets to the ash sort of flavor, I tend to call it quits because I don't want to think of this cigar as finishing ashy, but as far as the journey to that. What are your thoughts on the cigar overall? I always have loved the chapter ones and the chapter twos are very good smoke for any sort of occasion even. A nice night, a little muggy, but it's, it's still a good smoke, it's very enjoyable. As far as if you can find these in most cigar stores, absolutely. I personally yeah, go to a lot in San Antonio Club, Even is one of my favorites. Uh, cigar, that's another name of the bar that I go to. Very, very good, very classy. Another good place here in town, of course, is at uh, Ruben Zamora Cigar Store. Very, very good. But overall, I gotta say that if I had to rate this, definitely again a five out of five. Although it did ramp up a little bit in intensity, I will have to say that it definitely stayed just medium to full again. I'm definitely really, really happy with the cigar. Signing off, I'm Jonathan DeLuna. I'm Chris DeLuna. And we're the DeLuna Bros. And this is our point of view on Cigar Press Review. Catch you again later. Join us in next time. We're gonna tackle chapter two. Or as said on the label, Capitulo Los. That's right. See you guys next time. <laughs>